So I've drawn on my two mils of sodium chloride. Now we're going to reconstitute, practice reconstituting a vial. So again, I'm going to put a needle on the syringe that I will be drawing up the drug once it's reconstituted. Again, the reason for this is to avoid any possibility of particulate contamination. It's also important to note that only keep what you need at the time of compounding in your work area. Your work area is considered the space between your shoulders. So I'm going to bring my drug into my work area, flip off the cap, take my alcohol swab, swab it three times, and let it dry. Let me get another alcohol swab ready. And this is where my cap of my needle that contains my two mils of sodium chloride. So now that the alcohol has dried on my vial, I'm gonna remove my needle cap, bring my vial into my work area. And again, going in at a 45, just to puncture the vial, and then straightening out to 40 to 90. And then I'm just going to milk. So that means I'm going to put in a bit of fluid and drop out in air into my syringe. This will prevent any spray from the vial. vial until all the drug has dissolved. It is very important to make sure that all the drug has dissolved as this will prevent a patient from getting particulate contamination in their CSP that they are receiving. So I'm going to check to make sure that all the drug is dissolved and I'm just going to flip the vial up. And this way I can look to see if there's anything floating, so if there's any coring or if there's any undissolved drug, and that just needs to be shaken a little bit more. So for this patient, they are going to receive one mil of drug. So we are going to swab our vial and let the alcohol dry. Actually, they're going to receive 0.5 mils. I'm going to draw 0.5 mils of air because we decide now that we're going to they're going to get 0.5 mils of drug. I'm going to take another alcohol swab, place it on my work surface for my needle cap. Move my needle cap. I'm going to enter my vial, but I have to make sure that when I puncture this vial, it's not in the same spot that I punctured when I was reconstituting the vial with normal saline, otherwise you'll get drips. So again, bevel up. Push in. And draw up. Tap to bring all the bubbles to the top of my syringe. Push the air bubbles out. And I'm a little short, so I'm going to draw up some more fluid. Again, tap to make sure there's no bubbles. 
and 0.5 mils. Now, to prevent any spraying, in case the pressure wasn't equalized in your vial, you can draw up some air into your syringe, put your syringe back on the work surface and remove it from your vial. Cap your needle, and then with your needle cap, you can push it back up. your 0.5 mils. Now, if the patient was receiving the medication as an IV push, we never dispense a medication to the nursing ward with the needle still attached. We would put a tip cap on it. So put tip cap back. Remove our needle. Always discard it in the sharps container. Just push down and now it's ready to go.